Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and things are going well with you. I'm going to uh, I'm going to read you a piece of scripture that I used yesterday at our church to preach from. Just because I've watched, um, and, and I'm a people watcher, <laughs> my wife and I both, uh, when we used to go to restaurants, we haven't been in one in March, but when we used to go in restaurants, we just sit and watch people, you know, and you just examine how they, uh, how they act and what they do, the things they do, and, and I don't know, it's just one of those things we do, and I've noticed, uh, the people that I've watched recently, seemingly, some have panicked, and some feel as if maybe it's almost to hear their conversation or to see something that they uh, put on social media it's almost that they have forgotten who they serve it's almost like satan has come against them and tried to uh, defeat them discourage them make them feel like uh, that the sky is falling the world is crashing you say brother george don't you live in the same um united states that i do can't you see what's happening i can see and have seen for years you cannot Folks, you can't, and my belief is this, you can't be, um, sweet and bitter water does not come forth from the same fountain the scripture says. You can't live in a nation that slaughters their um, children, uh, that allows things to happen that we see happening uh, today and expect that everything's going to be good and everybody's going to love God and we're going to be this great Christian nation. It's not just what's happened recently. This has been coming for a long time. God is on our side for those uh, believers. Uh, I preached yesterday the peace of the believer uh, in Christ. And I do want to mention today, I will read again this chapter 14 of the book of John. Jesus starts out, let not your heart be troubled. And then he backs that up and says those very words again. Uh, but in verse 26 of chapter 14 of John, Jesus says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you. That's good to know, isn't it? And then listen to this. My peace I give unto you. I spoke to a man recently who lost every instrument he had in a house fire. I had no idea. I just said to him, uh, so what guitar are you playing now? And he said, oh, you haven't heard. And I said, no, I haven't heard what? And he said, I had a house fire uh, back last summer and it destroyed the room where I had all of my instruments. And he had uh, a little less than a hundred instruments. So they weren't all guitars, but there were a lot of instruments. And as he said this, uh, he said, but let me tell you something that happened. And there was a mutual friend of ours who had a guitar that he just absolutely loved. I mean, every time I was around him, uh, I never even asked to play it because I just knew he loved it so much. And, and uh, it was a expensive and a fantastic instrument. But he came to visit this man after the house fire. And when he walked him to his vehicle for him to leave to go home, he handed him this guitar and said, this is yours. I want you to have it. And when that gentleman told me that story, uh, I relate that to this, this morning, reading this to you. Jesus said, my peace I give unto you. And see, he wasn't giving them their peace. <laughs> um, this fellow didn't find a guitar that didn't get burnt in the fire and give it to this man, but he gave him his own guitar. Jesus said, my peace, my peace, I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And then he says again, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Folks, it's, it has been said, um, I'm afraid of, of this world and raising kids and and." And grandkids and what are we going to do and I know my parents probably thought the same my grandparents probably thought the same and it's a continual thing uh, but God knows exactly what is happening he knows exactly he sees everything I said yesterday Daniel wasn't in 
the lion's den, Daniel was in a den of lions. It did not belong to them. It was just where they were. And God allowed him to go in. And God allowed him to come out. God knows right where you are today. So I would say just allow the peace of God to strengthen you. This song says the only real peace. I know I've sang it for our morning devotion before. I don't know which one or how long ago, but we're going to give it a shot again because it's a good song. Life is a few days of trouble. A wise man once said, But I'll not complain, for I'm sheltered, I'm clothed, and I'm fed. Many's the trials, my wants and my needs put me through but then I'm reminded of the sweet peace I have Lord in you the only real peace that I have dear Lord is in you the only real peace that I have, dear Lord, is in you. With all life's frustrations, I need you, and I know I do. But the only real peace that I have, Dear Lord is in you. The higher I soar in my dreams, the harder I fall. And sometimes I wonder if dreams are worth dreaming at all. But my Disappointments can't leave me blinded and blue. Not when I'm reminded of the sweet peace I have, Lord, in you. The only real peace that I have. Dear Lord is in you, the only real peace that I have, dear Lord is in you, through all life's frustrations I need you and I know I The only real peace that I have, dear Lord, is in you. Real peace. My peace, Jesus says, I give unto you. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. Here it is, another Monday. Um, God, I pray that you would bless us to be encouraged, to be strengthened, Lord, to not to look around us at the storm that is there, for we may lose the people closest to us while we're concerned about things that we cannot control. God, I pray that you will help us to have a biblical worldview, to be able to look at everything from the perspective and the lens of Scripture, to know that these things will come to pass. God, help us to have the peace that only the Holy Spirit can give to us to calm us and to help us walk through this life and do the best we can do for you. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks, and we'll talk to you Tuesday.